Hi, everybody. I'm Aaron Roberts. I'm a learning experience designer at Mason High School. Uh, from the learning experience team for grades 7 through 12, uh, we'd like to welcome you back. You'll hear from Dan, Jill, and Joe in here in just a moment. But first, I wanted to go over the different things that you'll have to do uh, for your professional learning time anytime your schedule says learning experience on it. We've got some professional learning options for you that should be as easy and as, not surprisingly, personalized as possible. Everything that we do, you should be able to do anywhere, anytime, even though the dates on your calendar say, I believe it's August 14th, 17th, and 18th, you really have August 12th through 19th to work on this at any time makes sense to you. You can work with whoever you choose to work with. You can work with a partner. You can work with a small group. You can work with your department, content team, whatever makes sense to you. We're also offering you options to get a hold of administrators and get a hold of learning experience designers so you can collaborate with those folks as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the website where all of this learning is housed. You can find everything that you need for your learning time here on masonlearns.com. And you'll find stories from different teachers um, over the past year for personalized learning, but we're gonna focus here where it says Learning Hub. You click on it and it'll open up a brand new site for you. There's all kinds of learning resources on this site, so you might wanna bookmark it. But we're gonna focus on the seven through 12 back to school PD days here. On this site, you'll find the goals for learning. Um, you'll find a word on personalized learning, including a link to our new PL guide. You'll find ways to build a support system for your learning time over the next few days. This might be what a lot of you are waiting for, is finding exactly what is expected of you when it comes to learning experience uh, for this school year. So these has some must-dos, some things where you want to make sure you know how to do some certain things. And they fall into three themes, relationship and community building, um, feedback, communication and clarity, and enhancing collaboration and content with technology. Now, you may already know how to do a lot of things in these areas. So go in there and look through each of the sections. But if there's something that you already know, don't spend a lot of time with it. Instead, go look at some other information in any of the other sections. This checklist is repeated on each of those three pages, so you can continue to see what it is that you need to do. You've also, you'll see these dates. These are suggested dates. They are not required dates. Everything is required to be done by the 19th, but this is just to help you stay on pace. If you scroll down at the very bottom here, you will see live PD sessions. And you can see that we have a ton of sessions, both being offered by instructional coaches, the learning experience designers uh, at the middle school and the high school, but also live events being offered by the Ohio Department of Education. There's things for a lot of content specific um, courses in here as well. Now those live learning events, those are optional. You can pick and choose as you think about all the different things that you feel like you have to learn or try or do. So to go over those three big themes, I'm gonna turn it over to my friends, uh, the other learning experience designers for grades seven through 12. As with any year, it's important to establish meaningful relationships, building trust to get the year started. It is more important now than I think maybe ever in starting off a school year. And so we wanted to equip you with some resources um, to, to help you continue to grow in your practice of doing that as we start off the year. As we prepare for all the possibilities that might occur this year, one topic that surfaced through feedback was the need for consistency in the organization of class materials and information. We are asking teachers to use the provided learning plan template as your framework so support staff, students, and families are able to access materials with ease. Our hope is this routine will allow for an easy transition when supporting students regardless of when and where they're learning. Within the Enhancing Collaboration and Content Through Technology section, there are really two primary goals that you're going to want to focus on. Uh, goal number one is making sure that you feel confident in your ability to video conference uh, with, with students using tools like Zoom and tools like Google Meet. 
Uh, some of the big things that you definitely want to be able to do in those video conferences, obviously you want to be able to share your screen regardless of which program you decide to use. Uh, you want to be able to facilitate breakout rooms and you would also want to be able to uh, have a way to whiteboard or demo something. Um, so that's one of the major goals. The second major goal would be to hone in on what is your technology toolbox um, in the event that we should have to go totally remote. Um, do you still have ways to deliver engaging content and have you identified what those core technology tools are that you want to give kids exposure to early in the year so that they're successful in the event that we do go remote? As always, we're here to support you guys. If there's anything your LEDs can do or your administrators can do, please don't hesitate to reach out.